On this solutions video, we will be discussing crane speed parameters. Cranes are built from two parts. The first is a network. We have to define the crane as a network. We do that by clicking on the type button or double clicking here where it says passing. We select the option crane. When we do this, a crane pops up on our net model. Now we can adjust the crane size to fit our model how we see fit. We can change these arms, we can make them shorter, we can do whatever we want. These are just graphical changes. This does not change the parameters of the crane. We do that by adding a resource to the crane. Now in the default ProModel graphics library, there is actually a crane uh, that we can assign to the path network. We do that by, uh, by selecting our crane and clicking on the specs button. This brings up the specifications dialog box. Under path network, we select our, our network. I didn't name it anything, so the default name is net1. Now, when we do this, we are able to input a couple of different numbers. The speed, empty and full, are made up of two different numbers. Now, with a crane, a crane moves in, in several different directions. The bridge moves horizontally, or left and right, and then it also, within that crane, it moves vertically up and down. Now the first number here is the horizontal movement. It is how fast the bridge moves left and right on the crane. The number after the comma, the second number, is how fast it moves vertically. Now when I was first learning cranes, I mistook this for saying up and down as, as uh, loading and unloading, as in the crane hook were to drop on the model here because it's a, it's a top-down view, uh, the crane drops, the hook drops straight forward and then gets pulled back towards you. Now that can be assigned here in the pickup and deposit time. By default, they are zero, so there's no pickup and deposit time. So however you want to lay out your model is up to you. You can use the speed uh, here in the top to dictate your movements or you can even put in time it takes to load and unload an entity on your model. But once you get your numbers in there, uh, you click OK and that resource is now assigned to the Crane Network. As always, this solution can be found on the Solutions Cafe.